Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a really good day. It's Friday afternoon, I am uh, just left Denver, heading west on 70 over to Grand Junction through this beautiful mountain country. Um, about a 50% chance of snow up here on top today, but the low is only supposed to be 32, so maybe I won't have to sling any chains or anything. I love this part of the country. Um, it's a beautiful stretch of road takes forever to get over there got a 53 foot van today and pretty heavy so um, good little trip just wanted to do a quick little video and talk about something uh, you know while it's on my mind and while I was thinking about it um, I might piece it with another video or I might just add it tonight when I get to the hotel as just a little short I'm doing a Grand Junction turn Going over to Grand Junction, dropping this trailer, grabbing a set, and coming back to Denver. So I'll probably be in the hotel in Denver. It's only about 515, 520 miles, but it's hilly terrain and mountainous terrain. So it takes you a little over four hours to get out there with only two hours left when I get back to Denver. Unless I got something I can run down to Colorado Springs, I'll probably be done for the for the day when I get back. Yesterday I ran from Des Moines, Iowa to Denver um, and that was a really good run. Um, had about 30 minutes to spare on my clock when I pulled into the Denver terminal. It was a nice run. Uh, here lately I've been doing a lot of this little short stuff, you know, drive two or three hours, break a set, hook a set, drive two or three hours, break a set, hook a set. You know, drive another three hours and break a set and then go to the hotel. You know, you feel like you're spending half of your day breaking and hooking. Um, you know, granted, you get 850 for every time you do that. You know, so you're still making a little bit of money on drop pay and, and hook pay. But I'd rather get out and stretch my legs and run straight. It's the way I like to run. Anyway, uh what I wanted to talk about is chains in Colorado. You know, September 1st, the 1st of September in Colorado, um, across the mountains here on 70, pretty much west of Denver, all the way over to Grand Junction, you have to have chains on your truck or you will get a fine. And per Colorado chain rule, Regardless of whether you're doing doubles, triples, I don't know if they run triples through here. I know they do up there in Wyoming. Um, or just a straight van. No chains on your trailer, which kind of baffles me a little bit. You know, I know they're not drive tires, but chains on your trailer gives you some traction. You know, a lot of other states, they want at least, you know, one axle on your trailer chained up too but Colorado wants all of your drive tires chained so on a twin screw truck like mine I'm gonna need either four double sets of chains or eight single sets and I carry uh, four single sets on each side in my chain racks but if you do not have those on your truck, you will get fined. And it's it's a pretty good hefty fine. So uh, I definitely uh, would make sure that you have them on your truck. Um, I don't mind chaining. I've done it before. It doesn't bother me because especially through here, especially if it's snowpack, um, if it's windy and icy, I'm shutting down. You know, I, wind and ice, especially with doubles, do not, it, it's no bueno. Um, you just can't, I don't care how many tires you got chains, you just can't drive on ice. You know, 
and you got a gust of wind that hits your trailer and pushes it one way and, and you it's just not not good not good at all. I would rather run seventy. Like if I was going to Salt Lake from Denver, I would rather run seventy in snowpack than go up and run eighty across Wyoming with wind and ice. Uh, snowpack doesn't bother me at all. You know, it's good traction. You're moving. And sometimes here in Colorado, they will put the chain law out just because some car slid off into the ditch. It's not even really that bad. It's kind of aggravating sometimes because they'll throw the chain law up. You'll pull over in a chain up area and you'll throw chains on your truck. Spend 45 minutes to an hour throwing chains on your truck just to drive 20 miles and then pull over and take them off. It's crazy, but it's a $500 fine if you get caught in that stretch without the chains on. Not saying I've never done that, never got the fine, but it just depends. I kind of look at what all the other trucks are doing. And if it's just a 15 mile stretch, none of the other trucks are stopping and chaining. You can't pull all of us over. So it's, you know, but if you get in a wreck in that area or you slide off into the ditch in that area and you don't have chains on, it's an even bigger fine. So uh, from September 1st on through the winter, you've got to have chains um, on your truck. Just wanted to touch on that, chains in Colorado. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get off here fixing to come up on this way station i'm probably going to get the green light uh it looks like it's closed anyway but i hope everybody's having a good friday and if you're on your way home i hope everybody has a good weekend remember to like and subscribe make sure you click that little bell and it'll alert you every time i post a video it's uh try to come up with some more videos um, I might do another video in the hotel before I go home. I don't have all the information with me for that Dollar General video, but I will take it out on the road with me, and I, I promise I'll get that Dollar General video out this next week. And I also had somebody that emailed me and wanted to see my truck. So I'll probably do a video of my truck one of these times when I come out of the hotel when there's daylight. Um, and I've also had somebody that asked me about I covered the hiring, how to get hired at Estes, but what's the training and what happens after you get hired? What's the process there? So I'll probably cover that and do a tour of my truck all in one little video. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, hope everybody's blessed. And Remember, if you have any questions about anything, Hobby Lobby, PFG, uh, Estes, you know, Dollar General, Shoot me a message. Walmart, Glock Doc, G L O C K D O C seven nine at Gmail. And most of the time I will shoot you back a message with my phone number and then you can text me. It makes it a lot easier than dealing with uh emails. Um I don't always check my messages on YouTube, so I might not get your message if you send it to me on YouTube. But Hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.